world happy november 1st it is the first of the month and we have officially entered christmas season as per my sorority sweatshirt from when I was in college a couple years ago. I live in Austin, Texas. If you're new here, my name is Natalie. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Bobby and I, my little kitten, are out on the balcony right now. John's making dinner, so I'm gonna try to go to Target with him here in a little bit when we're done eating. I wanna see what Christmas decorations they've put out. The last couple weeks that we've been to Target, they had already started putting things out, and last time that we were there, last weekend I saw the cutest little medium-sized Christmas tree it was one of the ones that had like the white like snow stuff on it fake snow obviously it was $70 and honestly I really want to go buy it and see what other Christmas decorations we can get because John and I are actually gonna be gone for the actual week of Christmas so I figure may as well start decorating now get a jump on the season I know that's controversial to some people because it's not even Thanksgiving yet today in my office I brought a little baby Christmas tree and I, I set it up on my desk honestly partly just to make people mad because it, I knew that it would annoy some people but I wanted to get a jump on the Christmas spirit like I said so anyways we are gonna eat food here in a minute I'm gonna enjoy the sunset with Bobby although it's not actually that sunny at all it's like cloudy today for the first time in pretty much a month mm. what are you making John is making dinner. Maybe it is. And he's trying to figure out if it's cooked or not. Oh. Yeah, I probably should have just put the broccoli in the microwave. Yeah, no, look at the instructions. And that does not mean cook. And then magically it's like cook chicken, put it back in the pan. And then cook it in the oven for 10 to 15. That's how you get dry chicken. Well, he's making creamy broccoli bacon chicken. I don't think I've ever actually had this before. Maybe. What's your review? Not my favorite. It's just really healthy. Yeah. Like how much like keto or something? Oops. Like what's in there? I keep it very. We are on our way to Target. It's literally 8:56. It's almost 9 o'clock. <sighs> John's exhausted. No, people stress me out. My windshield's also kind of dirty again. I, need to, I think I need to wash the inside. Look at this. It's like smeared with like oil or something. Just got him. Time to get some Christmas stuff. Just bringing a shopping cart inside. John's like abusing the shopping cart. What the heck? It doesn't make noise anymore. <laughs> it sounds like it's in pain though. We can make a village. Look at these makeup gift sets. He's threatening to buy a Longhorn shirt. I went to Texas A&M. That's like capital offense. They've started. They started. Oh my God. Slim pickings right now, but it'll be here full soon enough. I like the snow because it's pretty and it's like different. These are cool. I've never seen these before. They're like mini Christmas tree things, $20. probably don't have the tree that we want, so we might go to Costco instead and see what they have. I'm looking on the app, because I really want the white one. It's so pretty. What's 
my socks off. Oh, he's being lazy. <laughs> he's being lazy. I think it's by his food. It was by his food, so if it's not, then he moved it. Hey, Bobo. -bo. We just got back from Target and we didn't get anything except for my necessities. There were some trees there, but like I just reported on, they didn't have the one that we wanted. It was mostly that we noticed that the base of the tree looked a little funky. It looked a little bit like not high quality compared to the other ones. We are gonna hold on that and check out Amazon instead. And then tomorrow, I'll probably see what places I might be able to go to go find some simple decorations. Hello world, it is the next day and John is gonna be home studying all day so I'm gonna use this time instead of being bored to just go and run a couple of more holiday errands. My mom said that Hobby Lobby has some Christmas stuff like 50% off right now so I ordered the Christmas tree from Amazon last night. Then I had to cancel the order because I realized or John told me and my mom told me that the flocking white stuff that was on the pretty Christmas tree that I ordered is or can be toxic to cats. So I canceled the order. I go to Home Depot later to go get a Christmas tree because that's where my parents said to check it out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get some other decorations for Christmas from Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna see what Walmart has as well. They usually have candles that are $5 and I'll bet anything that they have their Christmas scents out already. So let's go check it out. There's literally so much Christmas stuff in here and it is all 50% off. But there's no shopping carts and there's no baskets anywhere, so that's a problem. I acquired a cart and some ornaments and a tree skirt so far. Okay, so I just left Hobby Lobby. I got a big bag of stuff. I think I spent $47 or $53, somewhere in that range. I went ahead and put my stuff in my trunk. I'm literally right next to Home Goods, but I don't know why I'm not really feeling like going to Home Goods right now. I know it's gonna be super packed. When I first went into Hobby Lobby, the lines were so long. I am gonna go to Walmart now. I've decided that now I am technically an adult. I will be 25 in December. I'm going to make my own little Christmas village. Things that I got at Hobby Lobby were pretty much just stuff for the Christmas tree so like ornaments a tree skirt uh, and that I think is pretty much it I got like two little candles that are the flicker ones I'll show everything here in a little bit I'll do a haul I want to go and get a couple of actual decorations to put in other places around the house I might go back to Target because there were some things that I saw there yesterday that I really liked I'm going to crack open one of these that John and I got from Target last night. It is a caffeinated Dr. Cherry Vanilla Sparkling Water. I'm gonna open this right now, get a little bit of a small boost of caffeine. This is what it looks like. Kind of excited to try it, but it's like foaming at the top, as you can see. Oh, that is really good. Okay, I can definitely taste the cherry, the vanilla. I mean, it's not as subtle by any means as like some of the other sparkling waters that are out there like some of those are just whack anyways let's go to walmart hello i am back from hobby lobby and walmart i considered going to target but then i changed my mind i think i'd like to maybe wait a little bit longer for some of the actual christmas stuff to come out to really really buy some stuff but I will do a quick haul of what I got from Hobby Lobby because Walmart was an absolute bust. This is what I got from Hobby Lobby. Like I said before, they had a 50% off sale. I got this tree skirt. You will see a common theme with all the things that I bought and that is that it's all gold and white, which is kind of like my theme colors almost all the time. I got two sets of Christmas ornaments. These ones are white and some of them are glittery as well. Then same here, same size. I considered maybe getting bigger ones, but I was like, we'll just keep it uniform. These ones are gold and there's also some glittery ones in there as well. Another ornament item that I got, these little reindeer ornaments, which I am excited about. They're glittery and really pretty and there are one, two, three, four, five, six little reindeers in here. And the last thing that I got today are these little LED candles that have glittery gold Christmas trees on them. I think they're really pretty and I'm going to figure out where to set them. Two AA batteries not included, of course. 
but I do have AA batteries, so that should be fine. And that is everything that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was a pretty small haul. In total, I spent about $50, which was pretty good because everything was 50% off. I think we're gonna go to Home Depot later to try to get a Christmas tree. So it has come to my attention that I have a box in my living room that literally just has socks in it. I'm like, not even kidding. These are all socks. John has tasked me to go through them and throw away the ones that I will never wear again which is very hard because I've accumulated these socks over like probably five years or something from the Target dollar section. And yes, it's a problem. It's become an issue because I don't have anywhere to store them. What are you doing in there? Say hi. I'm going to sort through them while John finishes studying. Going to Home Depot. We have acquired the friend. We got a Christmas tree friend. And we got some hooks for the ornaments because I forgot that she was that a was hooker. a thing. No. I forgot that you needed to buy them separately, which is a scam because I don't even remember seeing them in Hobby Lobby. But anyways, are you excited about the Christmas tree, John? Yep, but I don't want to hear anything about it. Why? It's enjoyable. What does that mean? Like, I don't want to hear any complaints. Well, I wanted the white one, but the flocking stuff and the complaints might have kill the bobo, so we didn't do that. We got a seven and a half foot tree, $99 from Home Depot. Go get your Christmas trees, everyone. It's dinner time. Barbecue chicken baked potato with barbecue salad and macaroni and cheese. I made this one, by the way. My question for you is you're not saying yes, you don't trust me. Do you trust me? Mm. It's good. Yeah, I don't know if I don't trust you. Though, because Two potatoes just tastes like a potato. This is my kitten's first Christmas and I'm very excited. He liked the Christmas tree. We'll see if he continues to attack it or try to eat the branches and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. As always, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe all the YouTube things for more content, maybe some more Christmas content, even though it's still 85 degrees outside in Austin, Texas. See you next time. Okay, bye.